Michigan State. The Spartans, led by Coach Mel Tucker, he did not have an offseason last year. He no. got nothing. No, he got hired very, At, very, very late end in the of game. February. Yeah. Very end of February. It got no chance to bring in a recruiting class, anything. Um, I mean, if I were him, I would leave two from Colorado. I mean, my gosh, the amount of money that Michigan State threw at him was absolutely absurd. But either way, he did not have an offseason. He did not even get to meet his players until they got to fall camp. Like, and then, of course, they cut fall camp short That's right. because they canceled the season. It was a disaster. Just an absolute disaster. Um, I mean, who, who knows what 2020 meant looking at it. Uh, they, they didn't... They brought in 18 transfers. They lost 27 transfers. Like, this is completely rebuilding, uh, rebuilding the roster. Like, it's a complete overhaul. And I have no idea what it means. Like, uh, the offensive line was terrible. Running backs were terrible. The quarterback, Rocky Lombardi, has transferred out to Northern Illinois. The new quarterback that's coming in, Anthony Russo, comes over from Temple, and they were not great last year. They weren't good either. Um, I mean, who, who knows what this team is going to look like on defense? I mean, it, it, last year was the worst at at Michigan State since 2016's 3-9 and nine team. And before that, I mean, it, it was the worst in 20 years. I mean, it's just terrible. Um, yeah, they lost their three best defenders. The the two deep looks, I mean, almost completely different. Like, this is just a completely different team. The number sits at four and a half for them. And, you know, okay. Um, like, over is minus 125. Under is minus 105. FPI projects them to go six and six. That's insane. Which is the same as Michigan. That's insane. But I, I don't know how you can. God, how do you get to six wins? Well, how, how do you get there? Looking at this roster that has just been completely <clears throat> overdone. I, I, like this is where the analytical part of. Well, the analytics have uh, no idea what to do. I that's think. but the, but they're still trying to do something. Yeah. Hang on. That therein lies my problem with analytics. Right there, Gary is. You have a computer that doesn't know how to use eyes because it doesn't have eyes. It doesn't know how to use a brain because it doesn't have a brain. It just computes data. And people put data in and it spits out an answer. Okay? Analytics lie all the time because they don't know what they're doing. But no one on earth can look at this roster and look at what Michigan State has gone through the last year and a half, 18 months, and tell me, yeah, six and six, about right. I That's look, insane. I've got I've got five and, and maybe six immediate losses on here. I got and, I got and, two guaranteed wins on here. If you told me their over under was three and a half, I'd take the under. I'm gonna take the under four and a half for sure. Well, yeah, I, because if it was three and a half, I'd take it. Like it, this year having Miami as as one of your non cons and you gotta go down there. That's tough. That's don't tough. don't feel good about that. Western Kentucky, I think, like even though I I fully expect them to be able to beat Western They'll Kentucky, beat West Kentucky. They'll beat Youngstown I, State. I do think Western Kentucky can be a little bit better. Um, well, yeah, because that that's another team that we have no idea what to expect. Because no, but they're still they're still bad. That's fine. I I I think they'll beat them. Okay, like there, there's a world where they but can beat then, by that's, two that's, or three touchdowns from Rucker. That's two ter- or That's two guaranteed wins. Right that's there. It's Western Kentucky and Youngstown State. That's the list. That's where it stops. Everything else is losable. They can, but they also can, winnable. They can get beat by two scores from any of the rest of these schools. Now you're right. They're gonna. I think they're gonna win at least one of these other games. Okay. Yeah. There's a chance they can win two of them. They won't be favored in any of them, and I think the majority of them won't be close. That's that's my synopsis of what's gonna happen to them this year. I think they guarantee win two. I think they got two coin flip games. They could win. They could lose both. And I think the rest of them, they get housed. Yeah. They're, they're two, three scores away from being in the thing in the fourth quarter. Like, it's ball game. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. So, I think their miracle, miracle is four. Yeah, I tend, I tend to agree with I don't, you. I don't, I don't know We're both how, going under. I don't know how any of the analytics work to get to six and six. I, this isn't a team that was even a team last year. That's, like that's what I'm saying. Not, but this is why I don't. Then just just give me, you know, no information. But giving bad information or wrong information means I can't trust any of the information. Just because you project Clemson to go twelve and zero, when you say this team is six and six, that eradicates what you just told me. That's always right. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right about. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.